constant viewers. We are leaving our little stopover uh, that we've been here for the last 10 days, actually waiting in a parcel being delivered from parcels to go. Uh, hasn't turned up. We ordered a, a part for the fridge door that needs repaired. It's been 10 days and a two day European uh, delivery. So been a bit of a disaster waiting on this thing to turn up. So we're going to get off. That was the whole point of sort of staying here so that we could get some stuff sent out and, and sort of wee bits and pieces that we needed. So nothing's actually arrived. So yeah, nothing short of a disaster. But there you go. We try, we'll try again. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to get off. We're going off to the interior of Bulgaria uh, to a couple of monuments and stuff like that that we want to see. And uh, yeah, looking forward to bringing you some content. You've probably noticed uh, the last four or five videos have been 10 minute tours and that's the format we're going to look at. Uh, we've been putting videos out 15, 20 minutes and if I get three or four or five minutes watch time on these videos, it's really interesting watching the analytics on YouTube. So we decided to short them down into little 10 minute, uh, 10 minute videos. Hopefully you'll enjoy the content. And uh, I'm rattling on, it's now been 1 minute 23 seconds, so this is going to be another short video. Uh, but basically, yeah, 10 minutes is, is, seems to be the attention span of people, and that's what the, that seems to be where we should be, where we should be looking. So, enjoy. Uh, if you haven't, could you please like and subscribe? We're getting lots of views on our videos, but not a lot of subscribers, if you... I don't know why that is. Can you tell us in the comments why you're not subscribing or just, just click the bell and the, the like button. It all helps and uh, yeah, hopefully we can keep bringing you this sort of content. Well, that's two minutes. We've only got eight minutes of good stuff to go. We're driving along this road today and uh, we're looking for this place, which was the house of the Bulgarian Communist Party at the top of the Budludza Peak. And uh, we've just come round the corner there and it's looking rather impressive at the top of this hill. So next stop, the House of the Communist Party. What we have here is a, another monument called the Torches. Which is quite self-evident, but it's massive. And uh, so this is the Torches at Budzludza Monument. So next stop is the top. In the park up front here, there is tons of places to park up here. You could stay here, no problem at all. Uh, and we are planning on staying the evening. But yeah, let's mosey on up. There's talk of them restoring this uh, back to its former glory. And uh, I think it'd be quite a nice thing. It was obviously pulled down in 89 when the Communist Party fell apart and people were given free choice and up there right up there there's the red star which was reportedly made of rubies turns out it was just plain glass but these stories do these monuments well the setting itself is uh, quite fantastic it doesn't get much better than this you can see another angle. Obvious. It's like a giant spaceship sitting atop a hill. I'd love to be able to translate these for you. I'll show you some pictures from inside I've gathered from the internet because it was quite spectacular in its day. This concrete framework with the, the iron bars installed actually held copper, copper shields in a, in a wall. It was just a big massive wave of copper and as the building fell into disrepair it was looted. Anyone that could took anything of value while it sort of all disintegrated. We're at the monument this morning and we're going for a walk up that very big hill which doesn't look very big on a camera. But I can assure you, it's, it is. Well, we made it to the top. Some stunning views. Definitely worth a visit. Stayed overnight here. Got up with the sunrise. 
So yeah, it's been lovely. But definitely worth a visit. Hello Constant Viewer, we are sitting in a small town, just uh, about 15 kilometres short of the Turkish border, because we're just about to go across the border. Uh, Bulgaria's been fun, and uh, we're basically, time to go, time to move on. Really looking forward to places in Turkey, like it's supposed to be an amazing country, it's rather large as well. So yeah, looking forward to Cappadocia, what about yourself? Oh, I'm looking forward to hitting Istanbul in the next couple of days. Um, and going to the markets, lots of lots of different colours and smells and just really looking forward to Turkey. I've been there a couple of times before but this is going to be a bit different, um, going to lots of the smaller villages and yeah, just learning about the history and lots of places to explore. Next stop, the border. Border crossing on uh, Bulgaria side. See what's happening here. Let's go. Okay, thank you. Big wave. So there's a non EU lane, which is what we are now, uh, which is lane seven and eight. Not quite sure. All passports, yep. EU. So no need you stop. Uh, well, he was a right miserable git at the Bulgarian side of things. So I don't know if it'll improve much on this side of things. We will switch the camera off though because it's. Uh, Here's Turkey. We are at the Turkish border now. After we've driven about 600 yards, 700 yards uh, through various different checkpoints, we were waved through, and this seems to be the official queue to get into Turkey. So, so far so good. Fairly straightforward. There was a duty-free shop in the middle of it all, but we never bothered. We have managed to get through passport control and now we're just waiting in the vehicle control. And we are in Turkey. That wasn't too bad, we just had a joke with us. But yeah, basically they searched the vehicle. Uh, made us unpack the Fiamma bits and pieces inside, but fairly straightforward. We have nothing to hide, so yeah, we're all good. Next up, mobile phone data. Sign. There's a sign there above that lorry. Welcome to Turkey. Really looking forward to Turkey. Really looking forward to it. So, yeah. Let's get going. So what you have to do when you first drive into Turkey is get an HGS which is a toll sticker uh, and basically you preload it with some credit for all the toll roads and it uh, allows you to drive on the motorways so this is a here, PTT They won't take cash at the toll so it's got to be online Online only 
so we'll figure out where we buy it is in this place here. I'm very disappointed.